Hey Elizabeth, it's Friday the 25th of June and it seems I'm the only one left on this channel who still has the ability to edit. Your suit makes my hair look really short. So it's Friday, and you know what that means. Friday Roundup, it's the Friday Roundup, it's the Friday Roundup. I'm behind the camera. Lots and lots of recommendations this week, so let's get straight into it. TV shows. I picked up a copy of Cheers, which was obviously one of the important shows that I wanted to watch. So far, I'm quite enjoying it. Becca from Becca plays the main character, and the female. The door. Hello. Hello. I can't see, so. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Who is it? <laughs> they were at the wrong address. Anyway, cheers. I'm really enjoying it so far. I've only watched about five, six episodes, but it's pretty good. Kind of holds up much better than I thought it would. I'll let you know when I finish the first season. I also watched through season two of Breaking Bad. If The Wire is the best TV series ever made, Breaking Bad's probably the best TV series on TV at the moment. Gav, I know you've seen the first season. Elizabeth, I don't know if you have, but if so, you should check it out. And just know that the second season is just as good, which is a pretty incredible feat. I have also, at long last, watched Blink. Blink is widely considered to be the very best episode ever of Doctor Who. And while I enjoyed it a lot, I kind of knew absolutely everything that was going to happen. So many people love this episode that I've probably heard the plot more than 20 times. And so while it was extremely well made and I can't fault it in any way, it was nothing new to me. <laughs> That's through no fault of the episode though, so if you haven't seen it, go check it out. And if you have seen it, stop telling people the plot. My favourite Doctor Who episode remains Girl in the Fireplace, which is perhaps the greatest episode of any TV show I've ever seen. Movies! I watched my first ever Clint Eastwood directed film, Gran Torino, extremely good, check it out. And last night I saw a Toy Story 3, which I loved. That film was amazing. Pixar, they know how to tell a story. I've also been playing through some video games recently. At goodoldgames.com they had King's Quest 4, 5 and 6 for $10. And since I've been in Sierra mood lately, I played right through King's Quest 5 and 6. King's Quest 5 was pretty good, you know, no complaints. King's Quest 6, excellent. Really, really good game. My favourite thing about King's Quest V was probably this Let's Play, where a guy called Pa Dugan plays right through King's Quest V and is hilarious in his narration. If you don't want to play the game, check it out. It's, it's quite funny even if you don't play video games very often. And that segues nicely into YouTube videos. I watched a fair bit of YouTube lately, so I'll just give you the highlights. Craig Ferguson, host of The Late Late Show. If you saw Kick-Ass, he was the talk show host within the actual film, which was quite cool. He's a very funny guy and he does some great interviews, including this one with Hugh Laurie, which I'd recommend checking. Out. But what I wanted to talk about was Craig Ferguson's sketches where he plays JK Rowling. There's the one where she gets her own talk show and the one where she meets President Bush. Gav, you put me onto auto tune the news, and so you're probably aware of this, but they've done Obama Kicks Ass, which is an auto tuned version of an interview he did about the BP oil spill. Okay, so I just found out that the audio died, so I don't know how much got cut out, but if I missed some videos, here are the links. Anyway, that's all for me. Elizabeth, I will see you on Monday.